Well, 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 it appears the New York Packers have gotten yet another Aaron Rodgers' former teammate in Devontae Adams. He is now a New York Jet. He's been wanted out of Vegas for a hot minute, especially after he got rid of his best friend, Derek Carr, former college teammate. Because, I mean, let's face it, the Raiders are in tank mode. It is clear as day. And Adams has been frustrated with the quarterback play going back to Jimmy G. Now he's got his boy Aaron Rodgers to throw him the football. And the Jets really could use the help because they had a loss last night against the Bills on Monday Night Football. And it hasn't really panned out the way that some people thought the Jets would be. Personally, even with this trade, I'm still saying they finished 9-8, and 8-9 eight, eight and at best. The Jets ain't going to do shit. If this age is like milk, cool. If this age is like fine wine, even better because I love me some wine. But now you have Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, Conklin, and Adams for Aaron Rodgers to throw the ball to assuming he has time to actually throw the ball if the play calling is as bad as it's been say monday night it ain't gonna mean a goddamn thing but in my opinion this is more so to sell some jerseys get some more buzz around the jets because winning sure as shit ain't the buzz around there now you can sell you some number eight jerseys some number 17 jerseys and the fans can forget about how bad their shitty ass team is and the fact they haven't been to the playoffs since mark sanchez was their quarterback the deal that sent Adams there was a conditional third round pick that can become a second round pick based on performance. There's been speculation for a while that Adams was either going to go to the Saints with Derek Carr, who is now injured, or with the Jets with Aaron Rodgers. And I mean, you couldn't script it any better. A reunion with his former teammate. And like I said with Aaron Rodgers, he going to go out like Brett Favre did with the Jets. It's not going to be anything spectacular. I don't really have high hopes for this. It would be comical if Aaron Rodgers somehow ended up on the Vikings after this. And at that point, you can't even tell me the NFL ain't scripted. But yeah, the Jets sit at 2-4, and four, struggled offensively, so Adams could definitely help them there. Mind you, this is not the Adams that played with the Packers, who was a lot younger. He's still older. He's 31 years old. But he's still not a slouch. He ain't no scrub-ass receiver. So far this year, he's had 18 catches for 209 yards and a touchdown in his three games with the Raiders. And he missed the last three games with a hamstring injury. Adams has base salaries of $35.6 million remaining in each of the next two years. But none of the money is guaranteed, leaving him vulnerable as a cap casualty. I mean, they already got Garrett Wilson on their team and Mike Williams. But, you know, Mike Williams, he's been injury prone pretty much his whole career, especially going back to his time with the Chargers. And to really wrap this video up, the Jets ain't really finna do shit. Hassan Reddick's still sitting out or holding out, should I say. It might be cool for fantasy, but as far as an actual record at the end of the season, they might contend for a playoff spot, but that don't mean they're going to get that playoff spot. So like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Discord link is in the description below. Join if you haven't done so. And we'll be back Thursday for NFL pregame pick'em. We out.